It's the world's most popular sports tournament. The 2026 World Cup is coming to Vancouver and people are bouncing with excitement. Super pumped, like literally it, it pains me to be sitting down right now. I want to be jumping up and down. Take a look at the official FIFA Vancouver website and you'll find a page that reads the beautiful game in a beautiful place. From Stanley Park to Kitts Beach to Granville Island, we are ready to be the perfect host to fans from far and wide. Ready. It's a term I've heard the mayor use before. Hey, we're Vancouver and we're ready to welcome the world. Ready. But what does it really mean to be ready? At its minimum, you would think that for visitors planning to cheer on their team at BC Place, experience the food and art at Granville Island, and enjoy a picnic at Kitts Beach, they would at least need a place to stay. And that is where the ball hits the post. Or it's where the ball kind of goes over the line and the refs need to check if... Anyways, what I'm trying to say is... We do have a lack of hotel rooms in the city of Vancouver, and uh, if we don't do something about it, that will actually uh, stop uh, prosperity in the city of Vancouver as we try to attract more conferences. That's right. The tourism industry says Vancouver is roughly 15 years behind in terms of building new hotel supply. According to a 2023 study from Destination Vancouver, 20,000 rooms are needed in Metro Vancouver to close the gap between supply and demand by 2050, with 10,000 of those rooms needed in the city of Vancouver alone. And that's a problem. According to Vancouver City Councillor Sarah Kirby Young, what the numbers show, show right, right now, now is that by 2026, we're not going to be able to fulfill demand. Um, and that's hugely concerning. And things look like they could get worse before they get better. Consider, for instance, the Listel Hotel. Filled with original artwork, the Listel is housed in a historic building located at 1300 Robson Street. It first opened in 1986, but on November 20th of this year, the Listel will close its doors. We're closing the hotel to do a redevelopment. So the redevelopment happened because we are, our, um, the West End area plan uh, allowed for a change in the density. And so we're, we're, we're following through on that and uh, have the opportunity to build a brand new hotel and we're gonna add rental onto it. That was John Nicholson, the vice president of hotels and restaurants for Listel Hospitality Group. He says the Listel currently has 129 guest rooms, while the tower replacing it will have slightly more, around 175 guest rooms, plus an additional 126 rental suites. But those rooms won't be available for the World Cup. The new tower isn't expected to be finished until 2028, the same year that the Olympics will be held in Los Angeles, and the first year the competition will include flag football. Another sport where you hear the name football and wonder, are we talking about American football or the type of football played in literally any other continent? Although in Australia, they do refer to it as soccer, actually. Anyways, Vancouver will lose the Listel Hotel this November, and in the meantime, John Nicholson says Vancouver faces multiple challenges when it comes to building more hotels. You look at Tokyo, you know, there's five new hotels opening in a year. Even Toronto. Look how many hotels, new hotels opened in Toronto in the past five years, right? And we've had how many? None. But the cost to do a development is prohibitive and that's the challenge, right? Your land costs and everything else to buy land, to build a hotel is, is super difficult. City Council says it is working to address these barriers and build more hotel supply. Last fall, councillors passed a motion to look at updating zoning regulations and already, councillor Sarah Kirby Young says the city is seeing hotel applications come forward. But according to UBC professor Sir Somerville, even if new hotel spaces were approved today, it's not likely that we'll see them by 2026. Basically, I would say if somebody hasn't submitted a you know, development or building permit application now to build a hotel, there's no chance that it's going to be ready uh, in summer of 2026. Um, if you're thinking about building a, a hotel, particularly one that's sort of, you know, built out of concrete in a high rise building in the downtown core or along the Broadway corridor, you know, you're looking at a three year, a really a three year build. R really, if they haven't started digging the hole, it's, it's not going to happen. But of course, hotels are not the only form of accommodation. Experts say there could be opportunities to take advantage of local university housing and relax rules around short term rentals. And that's not all. 
I think there's a proposal coming. Um, I don't want to preempt kind of their thunder, but for a floating hotel, which could be really exciting for Vancouver. You see them in London. They can be built off site, very environmentally friendly and literally brought in. Uh, so that's one innovative approach. Um, we had a lot of conversations potentially about uh, utilization of things like cruise ships um, and other rooms during a, a large event like FIFA. Um, and then potentially, um, rather than building new, a uh, conversion of some underutilized or older buildings that could be converted to hotel rooms. So that might be the short-term opportunities. As things stand, we don't yet know which teams will compete in Vancouver. And that is an important factor to consider, as this information could greatly influence how many people visit in 2026. In other words, we don't know whether it's gonna be a massive draw or a massive bust. But regardless of whether Vancouver gets a top flight team or not, Vancouver City Council is still expecting it to be very busy. The reality is when people come in for FIFA, like it, we are going to be full in Vancouver, in the surrounding communities, in Burnaby, in Richmond, in Surrey. And so uh, you're going to see sort of an unprecedented level of occupancy during that event. An unprecedented level of occupancy in a city where hotel supply is already lacking and costly. So is Vancouver really ready or will it be caught offside? Who wrote this? I guess I, I wrote this. Lawrence Watt, CBC Vancouver.